Here we go with the video for some newly added features in MercariBot. We'll go over them one by one. One of them is the When Sold, Disable Relisting and Delete All Active. When checked, before of course running the autopilot, you need to check this before you run the autopilot or it won't take any effect if it's checked or unchecked while the autopilot is running. Anyway, if this is checked, any listings that are hosted by Mercari and are, of course, reposted by it, and an item has multiple listings active on Mercari Marketplace against it, those listings get deleted from Mercari Marketplace, and the relisting of the item is disabled when it's sold on Mercari Marketplace. For this function to take place automatically, Autopilot needs to be running with this option checked. You can, you know, delete before relisting, but when you're deleting before relisting, you won't be able to use the option that we just added. The second feature that I'd like to discuss over here is related to the same one we just talked about. And this is manually clicking a button to delete all active listings that have been posted and reposted by MercariBot against an item in the database. Like, for example, we have this item. This item has two listings on Mercari for you. Let's say I'm a seller and I also sell items on maybe Poshmark. And this is one of the items that sells there. Now, I want to delete all its active listings from Mercari Marketplace and also disable it from relisting. Like you can see, I have just opened the listings against this item which are over here that you can see, and the other one is over here. Both are the same item. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete both the listings. They will ask me yes or no. Yes, I want to delete it. It will delete the listings one by one and disable this listing in the database. So now it's deleting the first listing. Okay, it got deleted. Now it's deleting the second one. It's deleted as well, and the item is disabled. If I go to the web and refresh these pages, this item is no longer available. Similarly, this item is no longer available. This is when you are out of items and out of inventory for a particular item and you want to delete all of its listings on Mercari that were posted by the bot. With this done, the next thing I'd like to talk about is the bulk listing deletion option. This bulk listing deletion deletes your listings on Mercari Marketplace, the actual Mercari Marketplace on the web. So how it works is you specify the number of newly posted listings you want to keep. Let's say you specify 10. And you just click the Start Deletion button. It will start, it will skip the newly posted 10 listings and start deleting your listings onward from the 10. The next thing that I would like to discuss is Import from Poshmark. In order to do that, you need to, of course, enter your Mercari credentials that are already added to the database. Those are done using this tab. You enter the closet name. I'll use this as an example. You can enter the closet name like this or like this. Now enter the zip code. And then I will click the Import Existing Listings button. Now the bot will import the listings one by one. It will go from page to page, and on each page it will get 48 listings. It will skip the sold listings, like you can see over here, and import the ones that are active. It will also skip the listings that have a price of 
less than 5 or greater than 2,000 because this is the limit in which you can sell on Mercari. It will get all the images as well. And once it's done with the 48 listings on the first page, it will move on to the next page. Let's wait until it moves on to the next page before we stop the import. This is another one that was sold. And if I go to the database view, you can see these listings are popping up in the database one after the other. The database has been refreshed. That's why I'm unable to scroll down. Maybe I can show you once the import has stopped. This is the last one on the first page. All right, this is done now. It's moving on to the next page. There you can see it is extracting the first listing from the next page and so on. I'll stop the import over here. It should stop now. All right. If I go to the database view, you can see all the listings have been imported. The last one that was imported was this one that we started by FC6. If I go to the Poshmark listings, this is FC6 because this one was skipped anyway. Now, if you add more listings to your Poshmark account, and let's say tomorrow you want to import again, you will run the import in the listings that exist in the database. Those will be skipped. So since we just imported and we run the import again, you can see it is giving the message that these listings already exist. And if, let's say, you want to, you know, re-import your data to the Mercari Marketplace from the Poshmark closet to your account, to the bot. What you need to do is you need to go to the C Mercari bot. You need to delete all the images that belong to those listings that were imported from Mercari. And then what you need to do is you need to delete the listings from the bot as well. And once you have gotten rid of all these listings, you can run the fresh import. Although this is never required, but if you want to wipe the database and you want to reinsert the listings into the database, re-import them. Maybe you change something on your Poshmark closet. You can always do that. Well, this was all about importing listings from the Poshmark closet and we have mapped the categories to the best of our knowledge. But if you still think that there's something missing, you can always write back to us, and we will, of course, take care of that. The size, color, brand, these go into the description because brand codes and everything on Mercari vary, so you can always edit your listings. For example, I want to associate some brand with that, uh, like a new day. Anyway, you can 
you know, you can, of course, search through the database of brands and associate a brand to it. And whenever you have associated a brand, or maybe, you know, you have changed the size, you can click Update, and the data will get updated into the database as well. Well, that's all about the newly added features. I know it's been kind of a lengthy video, but I hope it's provided you all the information related to the Mercari bot and its newly added features. We have video guides on the app as well. You can go and look into those as well. We will add this guide to the bot too. The current version is 1.0.0.4. Now, we have added an automated update feature to the bot as well, so if there is a new update, whenever you restart the bot, it will automatically be downloaded to your PC. We always try to keep improving the bot and its functionality, and your input is very important in this. So, please never hesitate to contact us through email or through the chat app on our website, mercaribot.com. So, that's all. I hope it's clarified a lot of things about the newly added features. And, well, if there's anything else, feel free to get back to us. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.